Hello, this is going to be a high-level walkthrough of our SEO software suite called Search Atlas. SEO is a multifaceted discipline that has three pillars, content, technicals, and authority. We have designed this toolkit to help users systematically analyze and optimize all three major aspects of SEO while having access to best-in-class research, reporting, and attribution modeling. When you first log into Search Atlas, you're going to land on the home page, which will give you access to each one of our tools and any pre-built reports you may have already been working on. We'll also give you access to our Knowledge Hub with tutorial videos and the ability to start a new project from scratch. The first tool to highlight here is our keyword researching tool. Uh, as any SEO knows, keyword research is an immensely important aspect of SEO. So we've built an all-encompassing research tool that gives the user information on organic trends as well as paid trends so they can understand the keyword landscape, the search intent, the difficulty, uh, the competitiveness of the search term, the history of it, find keyword variations, related keywords, as well as people also ask questions, understand the lay of the land of the current ranking history, the current search results, the advertising landscape, as well as the ability to build lists of related keywords to build clusters so you can streamline your content production. Additionally, you can run a keyword gap analysis. In this tool, you're able to plug in your website, plug in your top organic competitors, and get a visualization as well as a, as a table that will actually show you how you're performing for similar keywords across the organic landscape. It can also help you identify new keywords that your competitors are ranking for that you are not to help bridge the get to help bridge the gap from a content perspective. Once you've selected your keywords and you defined your high intent keywords, you can always track your keywords using our rank tracking tool. Uh, this will keep a pulse on all of your high value keywords. You can set the frequency of these reports to be daily, weekly, biweekly, or monthly. And it allows you a quick export and share feature so you can report up or report to your team or clients as needed. If you are a local business, you likely care about map packs, so you can track your keyword, uh, your keywords in local map results for your physical brick and mortar locations. Uh, this way you can see how, you, how well you're ranking across different regions in your city or state for given keywords that are valuable for your business. Once you've determined what your right keywords are, you're going to want to go ahead and run an on-page audit under the content tool to get a sense for how well optimized is your content, your technical score, your speed, and your authority in relation to the sites that you're competing against in the market that you've selected for the keyword that you've selected. This report is extremely visual. It shows you exactly how you stack up against some of the top ranking competitors from a content perspective, a word count perspective, readability, and authority. It will also give you recommendations for keyword frequency, keyword density, heading presence, uh, items like schema markup <clears throat> or strong B tags. It also give you recommendations for focus terms, keywords, concepts, phrases, and ideas that you could be including more of in your content. It'll give you questions to answer. It'll give you recommended backlinks as well by scanning the backlink profile at the top ranking sites and giving you recommendations for publications to reach out to. It also helps with internal linking and prioritizing all of your technical issues in a clean and easy to digest report so you know what to work on to maximize your page health and improve your on-page SEO. This tool also gives you the ability to quickly optimize your content. So if you click this button, it will open up our content assistant. In this tool, you're allowed to add multiple keywords to determine a cluster of keywords you're trying to get your page to rank for. The tool will compare the quality of the content that you've created against the content of the most successful brands for each of your target keywords. It will then analyze the content strategy of the top ranking sites and let you know ways for you to systematically improve the quality of your content to ensure that your page is more robust than your competitors.
The right-hand side will guide you and give you recommendations for keywords, concepts, and phrases to include in the copy. It'll give you the metrics on those phrases as well as the recommended number of times you should use it, an important score, and the source of those keywords as well. This tool is meant to be a guide to help the writer create better, more SEO-focused copy for landing pages, blog posts, product description pages, buyer guides, you name it. If the website is intended to rank, this tool can help you do that in a very systematic and clean way. It will also give you questions to answer and internal link suggestions here as well. There is a metadata option as well as a sync to WordPress option if your site is built with WordPress. You can share these documents or you can export them as briefs to share with your writing team as needed. Search Atlas is also powered by AI content assistance. So there are over 50 templates of AI tools that you can use in here. Uh, the templates are categorized by the subsection above. So there's use cases for video marketing, for social media, for blog posts, for ad copy, for email marketing. So depending on the use case that you need, there's an AI template in Search Atlas to help you streamline your content creation needs. You can also configure the AI to have a specific tone of voice, a specific language parameter, or a specific point of view. The AI can also help you plan content. So if you give it a generic keyword, the AI can build you clusters of related search terms, aggregate them for you into long tail keyword variations, and then allow you to turn these into blog posts with the click of a button. This helps content teams streamline content planning and production for months to come. In terms of off-page SEO, you can review your backlink profile. You can look at the data as reported by mods or hrefs and really understand your current backlink profile at a very granular and detailed level. You can dive into each one of these reports by toggling the tabs and really understanding the full composition of your backlink profile. What you can also do is compare your backlinks to your competitors. So you can plug in your website, plug in your top ranking competitors and get a visualization of who is the most authoritative player in, in your space and what do you need to do to bridge that gap between you and your closest ranking competitors. You can then run a link gap analysis where the tool will show you a list of all websites and publications that are providing backlinks to at least one of your competitors, but are not currently providing a backlink to your website. This can help outreach teams scale their link building strategies and sites grow their topical authority through contextual based editorial link building. You can also get competitor reports where you plug in any website or any landing page and you can understand the ranking history, uh, the keywords the page ranks for, its performance, its competitors. You can really understand what your competitors are up to and derive key takeaways in their SEO strategies to integrate and improve on for your own strategy. <clears throat> we also have a tool called Auto. And what Auto does is every two weeks, it gives you a list of tasks to complete that will improve your SEO. So this is a multifaceted report that is connected to your Google Search Console data. So it will give you actionable, clear, and concise recommendations for things to work on on a weekly and bi-weekly cadence. These tasks will range from content suggestions to technical fixes through metadata or on-page SEO fixes. There's also a series of tutorial videos to help you better understand Search Atlas, will help you with internal linking structures, and just like everything else in Search Atlas, all of these reports are exportable, shareable, and great for cross-team collaboration. You can also use our site auditor, which acts as a site monitoring feature as well. So you can give it your website, you can give it a crawl budget, and you can give it a crawl frequency. So the site, the tool will keep a log of all of the crawls that have run on your site, and you can configure your email settings to notify specified team members as new issues arise on the site. So the auditor will proactively monitor the health of your site and it will give you the ability to assign notifications to specific users on your team. 
uh, all of the issues that get found with the crawl are summarized in these very easy and clean to understand formats where you can toggle between the issues. You can see an issue, for example, images missing alt text attribute. You can click view affected pages. You'll, you will see a list of all of the pages that are impacted by that issue. You'll get a description of the issue, uh, a note on how to fix the issue, as well as a supporting resource that will help you dive into this issue further if you are experiencing difficulties. This can be exported, shared, and batch processed. You can also layer in or modify your columns to, turn, to decide which metrics and which data points you want to analyze in your reports. You can connect to Google Search Console as well as Google Analytics to get very granular reports on your audits. And again, you can configure these reports to send specific users emails for specific issues. So that way you're not wasting your time getting notified about issues that are irrelevant and the right team members are taking action where appropriate. Lastly, from a reporting standpoint, we connect to Google Search Console and Google Analytics. So you're able to get first party granular performance data. You can also set this on the country level so you can toggle which locations you want to see your data for. You can adjust your date ranges. You can create custom windows and custom reports. You can get a sense for how your keywords are evolving over time, how your traffic patterns are changing over time, and you can get a history of the performance of each individual landing page. You will get their search console data, and you can also get the Google Analytics data. When you click on a particular page, you're able to see the historical performance of this particular page, and you can create these annotations so you can timestamp events and keep a pulse on what you're doing. So this way you can proactively report to your team the effect of the SEO program at your business, right? Because every time you make a change to a single page or a website as a whole, you can now timestamp it, annotate it, collect the data leading up to the change, collect the data following the change. And now you have a way to create some type of ROI or attribution model for your efforts as an SEO professional. There are several other features of Search Atlas, uh, but for the sake of keeping this video clear and concise, I wanted to just go over the main talking points. Please feel free to use the tool and reach out to us if you have any questions. Thank you.